Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury CC3 with another exhibition match. Making Red Vadra on Melt. Rather simply named map, but interesting one nonetheless. Let's get started! Ah, whatever. Anyway, I have Sanic in the southwest corner of the map, and he's not yet chosen his factory. Radovadra in the east side of the map, going for Spiderbot factory, which on this map, given how hilly it is, is a good idea. Generally wise to go for that because, well, you are dealing with a map that has a lot of hills, so makes perfect sense. And Sanic as well going for spiders, so both players are taking full advantage of the all-terrain nature of spiders. Though I have seen Cloakies work quite well on this map, Spiders are not a bad choice. As you can see, it's also a fairly large map, but... Yeah, Cloakie and Spider works well. Shields, I don't know if they'd work well given the size of the map, just due to their speed. And, of course, vehicles would completely fall apart. Never seen gunships or air on here, though. That would be interesting. I don't know how well that would work, but that would be interesting nonetheless. Anyway, we have initial fleets going at each other. From the north, we do have... Sanic actually is going to be able to get through Radovadra's lines pretty easily. Radovadra does have his flea spotted, and Sanic was actually going straight for Radovadra's base, while Radovadra not actually going for Sanic. So, Sanic's going to have a slight information advantage for the first couple minutes of the game. Not for too long, but still just a little bit more. And they're coming in. He sees what is going on in Radovadra's base. One of his fleas, not a whole lot to see, but it does see a decent amount. And a second blade actually coming in. Oh, that had a chance right here. It could have had a dead spot for that laser tower. And that would have allowed it to kill that metal extractor. And it looks like another flea is going to try to come in, but unfortunately not quite far enough. That is definitely unfortunate for it, but... Oh, well, that's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, we have... Okay. I just deal with this stupid hockey issue. I apologize. It's just these... The defense ranges thing. I thought I had... It set up, but apparently I do not. Okay, there we go. Done. Anyway, Radovadra is now fully aware of Sonic is, and gonna be sending about two dozen fleas over to him just to deal with that. A couple more fleas coming down as well. I mean, just spamming fleas. Now finally into the Venom Red back setup. While Sonic has gone for a Weaver, a couple Weavers actually, no further support, however. In fact, he has no Venoms or Red backs of his own. He's a few fleas outside of Radovadra's base, but that's about it, actually. So for Radovadra going in for a decently heavy assault, there is going to be, a, I mean, okay, decently heavy assault of fleas, so basically he's throwing very, he's throwing gravel at Sanic. Very, very fine gravel. That's really about it. In fact, he's not even throwing it, he's just sort of waiting. He was just kind of hiding out in the snow. Really hard to spot, by the way, but yeah, they're hiding out in the snow. Not really doing much other than scouting out, which is what Fleas should do. That is exactly right. It's exactly what Radovatra should be doing. He is, however, getting a red back, and he had... Well, he had a Venom. He was building a Venom. The Venom's right here. That'll be following up, and it looks like... Well, the Flea is still there. I mean, the Weaver can't do anything about it, so that is definitely useful for Radovatra. Able to deter a Weaver from getting along the south side of the map. Thus keeping Sanic a little bit more inside his base, and... Of course, Radovadra, the big point of these fleas is to know exactly when Sonic moves out. Which he sort of does, because Sonic's commander is moving out. Sonic's commander is not upgraded. Actually, no, it is upgraded. It's a level... Oh, no, it isn't upgraded. 12 build powers the base for Sporkum. Right. Of course. Anyway, Sonic does have... So we moving out once again. However, this time it's going to move straight into a Venom. Which is rather unfortunate, but yeah, that Venom is going to be doing a very good job for Radovadra. And Radovadra continues to get Redbacks and Fleas. And actually... Oh, an Infiltrator as well! That will be likely used against the Commander. Checking where it's off to. It looks like it is... Well, possibly an Intercept course, but... Or at least that was the intention. Over Venom moving back. Why is it not dealing with the Weaver? I don't know. Fleas are coming in over to help with it, but still the Venom could have torn apart those Fleas without issue. I don't know what the hesitation was. I mean, it's about to do so as the fleas are going to come engage the flea, the venom. I mean, you know, just two shots fleas, which, given the fact that it's primarily based on stunning, is actually not bad. And not much can be really said there. The welder does have a lotus to protect it from any fleas that come in, and 
Radavadra just has the map lined up. He's got fleas everywhere, just seeing where everything is. Sp spawning and intercepting another Weaver from Sanic, so keeping Sanic in his base. Radavadra is expanding decently well. Radavadra really has very little resistance. However, Sanic is about to take his revenge on the north side of the map. Start assaulting this Weaver, but I think the Weaver will be able to build a Lotus in time. Yeah, it definitely will. The, vent the fleas are going to come down to try to deal with it, but... This Lotus will be up. It's five seconds left. Actually, oh, that's pretty close. No, never mind. With enough fleas coming in, that Lotus dies. Well, the Weaver dies right before finishing the Lotus, and the fleas manage to kill it. That was close, but that actually worked out pretty well. So Red Avatar getting a bit of harassment revenge. I mean, Sanix are getting a bit of harassment revenge on Red Avatra. Red Avatra, however, still has more fleas, still has more map control. He knows exactly where much everything Sanix has is. Or, if not, he knows what was there, at least. Sanic, on the other hand, doesn't really know all that much. He has an idea of what is inside Red Avatar's base, but otherwise isn't particularly aware of where a lot of the fleas are. So it'd be a little bit tough to deal with that. That being said, it's probably e it's fairly even. I think Sanic has a slight economic advantage, but at this point, it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to come into play just yet, especially given that Sanic does have... I think the bigger thing is the military advantage. A hermit is up as well. Fleas are going to be hard to deal with with a hermit, though. The hermit does have a rather slow moving projectile, but it doesn't have a splash damage that the fleas, if they clump up like that, will die. That was a big mistake. I don't know why Radovatra did that. Okay, not a big mistake. Fleas are cheap. Like, fleas are built to die. There's really no point worrying about it. But these Venoms, not so much. In fact, that Redback doing a nice kiting move on the Venoms, and the Hermit's surrounding it well from behind. So these Venoms are having to retreat. Retreat or death, and it looks like they might actually die, depending on how these Hermits fire, but it looks like they are going to survive. Those Venoms get away, barely, but they do get away, and they will be repaired if Radavadra is paying attention to them, which I imagine he is. And at the same time, we have quite a few fleas here to try to deal with the Hermits. They won't do a particularly good job. Redbacks in there are support, and of course once they stop to fire, they will soon be killed, so not much to be said about that. Radavadra needs to switch away from fleas. They aren't doing it much good. And Sanic already has, actually. I mean, they're still good for scouting, but... Sanic going for Aircraft Factory, so Fleas will not be necessary for scouting. Radovatra is still sticking with Spider Factory. No fact switch, no fact additions. Nothing really changing in that regard. So there isn't much to say there. Center of the map, however, we do have a couple Venoms against the those Hermits and Redbacks. It's not going to work out too well. The Venoms were not repaired. They're doing what they can, but unfortunately not enough. Infiltrate, however, does stun out the commander with no support. However, Radavadra will not be able to actually kill it. Sanic will get away with this and basically have total reign of the map. At this point, Sanic has a massive advantage. I mean, sheer amount of map control Sanic has compared to Radavadra. Radavadra has a lot of knowledge of what's going on, but not a lot of map control. And Sanic's about to take the center of the map as well. Redback's trying to do what they can, which actually is a decent amount. Unfortunately, Sanic's own infiltrator not able to get in. But Sanic's Redbacks able to do the damage they need and pushing Radavadra back. Oh, nice artillery shot there by the Hermits. Going over the hill and the Redback for Radavadra staying put as Sanic's Hermits just finish it off. Though unfortunately for Sanic, he has to... Or sorry, Radavadra, he has to try to push against this. He does have a decent army of Hermits coming in, however. And it's about a dozen Hermits between the two of them and it's about even between that. Right now, Sanic's actually not in a great local position. He only has four Hermits, one of which is rather damaged, against about six coming in, half of which are going up to the Commander. The other half are going down to engage the Hermits from Sanic. It will kind of come down to terrain. It looks like Sanic does have a slight advantage, at least further south. However, one of his Hermits does go down, and Radavadra with a decent local advantage over to the center. He is going to be able to take advantage of... Well, probably take advantage of local advantage. He has high ground advantage now. So Sanic, while able to kill off one of the Hermits, is being pushed back, unfortunately. He is going for Ravens, getting quite a few of those as well. Half He has half a dozen so far. There are no Tarantulas in here as a counter. So really, whenever Sanic feels like it, he could go in and take out these Hermits. Just It would take two to a Hermit, like two Ravens to a Hermit. But he can take out the Hermits, and the longer he waits, the worse off he is, unfortunately. Even with this many Fleas, the Hermits are having a hard time staying alive, let alone with the other Hermits attacking them. So those Ravens are, in fact, moving out. Are they... Real question, are they going for individual Hermits? And not really, no. In fact, they're going straight for the main base. He's going to try and go for a calm kill, which is not a good idea. He's losing map control at the center of the map. He's going for a commander kill instead. No, going for a factor kill. Okay, better idea. 
That is a better plan than the commander, because the factory is actually about to go... There it goes! The factory goes down, and the caretaker with it! Nice last-minute caretaker switch on that. Brad Avatra has no factory switching to an airplane plant to try to counter that, but no further ground support can be built up. At this point, that may be a moot point. Sandy's commander has an upgrade for light particle beam, but still, it may very well be a moot point. It is hard to say, because Sanic does have a lot of map control. He is focused on air, and there isn't a whole lot that Radavatcher can do to build up, so actually, it is easy to say. What am I saying? Sanic is... Ha Sanic is a major advantage. His commander is under some threat, but the Stardust and Lotus together are going to be able to deal with most of the stuff coming in. Stardust, however, has been stunned out, but still, Sanic's commander is available. Just to help with support, and here come the Ravens, having reloaded. Only one of them actually coming in to help out. Why is only one coming in to help out? Sanic is sacrificing his commander for no real reason, honestly. And down it goes! Sanic loses his commander and the center of the map. So Redavadra, able to take the center of the map, just gets Air Factory done right at the 1035 mark. And with that, a bunch of Swifts will be built up as well to deal with the Ravens. Surprisingly, the Ravens were not sent in for fire support at the time. They are sent in now. They should be able to get rid of these Hermits without any issue. Well, okay, some issues. The Hermits are moving too quickly in some cases, but for the most part, they will be able to get rid of the Hermits if they actually, you know, do so. Mostly we have Swifts going after them, as well. however, and that... That's going to pretty much solidify Sanic's position in the air. I don't think Radavadra has much of a chance at this point. I mean, there is a bit of an outside chance Radavadra will be able to deal with this, but I kind of doubt it. I mean, he has a couple Swifts of his own. But honestly, that's not enough. I mean, if it was just Ravens, would be different. But the fact that Sanic has a decent number of Swifts as well, could easily transition into Hawks, has an economic advantage. Sanic has total air control. Nothing more can be really said about that. He's actually switched entirely to air, not even bothering with building more spiders. It's an entirely air game. And going for a massive set of raids around the map. Hasn't killed a commander yet, but that makes sense. Why would he? And more swifts being built up by Radavadra, but they are also being harassed out by Sanic. <laughs> wow, okay, he has... Sanic has about a dozen swifts compared to... Oh, ten swifts compared to Radavadra's one. So Sanic can just spend all day picking off Radavadra's swifts one by one as they exit the factory. Ground-based anti-air is the only thing that can really be done against this, and chains up being built. There we go. There's our ground-based anti-air. Radavadra building that up. Unfortunately, at the same time, we do have, or, or Radavadra at least, we do have Phoenixes and Ravens coming in to deal with this, and they should be doing a pretty decent job at this as well. Getting rid of a couple. Of, well, okay. Getting rid of the commander it doesn't matter. Radavadra throws in the towel. That is the game. Wow, that was pretty short. That was shorter than I expected, but okay, that was certainly an interesting game. So, despite losing map control in the center of the map, Sanic pulled it out in the air as air switch was really well timed. And Radavadra had no real counter to it. Unfortunately, losing that factory, that factory kill, that probably did it. Because if it weren't for that, we would have had a lot of tarantulas on the field and this game would have lasted a fair bit longer. Possibly gone the other way. As it stands though, Sanic's game, well done. So I'll be back with another game for you guys in just a moment. That will be a game between Rymark and Sigaro. Also, wait. What the? I... Okay. I didn't line up this properly. Okay, it'll be Rymark and Sigaro, also on Melt. I meant to have a different leap here. Oh well. Anyway, that'll be back in just a moment with that, so stay tuned.